haven't showered yet. Don't judge me. But I have a meeting, so I just wanted to show you my salad and it looks really good. Um, I did not make the green goddess dressing. I literally just did Greek yogurt and balsamic for an extra protein. But I have chicken in here. Let me show y'all. I have chicken in here, some chickpeas as well, my pickled red onions, which turned out phenomenal. My tomatoes, um, and one hard boiled egg. So this is a protein heavy salad and I'm gonna eat the whole thing because I'm starving. So I have a meeting, so um, I will check back in later. Hey guys. It is a few hours later. I am cooking some dinner. I just ordered a tripod because this is ridiculous. I'm using my little small tripod and it is not conducive for what I want to give y'all. But I'm making some dinner now. Even though I meal prepped, I still got to feed the rest of my family. So I'm making chicken marsala. But I'm going to make it a little healthier because I'm probably just going to eat that. But I'm just going to portion it out properly for myself. Um, yesterday I showed you guys my scale. So bomb. My salad was so good. I logged everything in my Lose It app, which I showed y'all. And my salad was like four, I think 420 calories in total or something like that. It was so good. And that was my first meal. I'm chewing gum now. I'm chewing gum now to like give myself um, to give myself some, you know, flavor. Chewing gum helps when you're fasting. I am behind on my water, so I'm gonna chug that. I'm at 1 p.m. It's five. Oh, I made it down to three. We'll have to come back so um what i do to help me get through that water i just keep going and i count the 10. <laughs> i don't just take a sip i have to like guzzle to get through it but i haven't even weighed in because i don't have AAA batteries for my scale so i just order batteries from amazon so they'll be here later tonight so hopefully i can get on the scale because I didn't weigh myself on day one. Today is day two of my 75 soft challenge. Make sure you subscribe and I'm going to link, once I do the video, I'm definitely gonna put a card in here so you can get to it. But I'm gonna do a series and I'm gonna do weekly updates for the 75 soft. This is like a 10 week, 11, 10, almost 11 weeks. Um, so I'm gonna do a weekly update. I plan on, um, I plan on weighing in every week and showing my results. I've been taking like snippets of videos of me like doing my jump rope. I plan on jumping rope every day for 75 days. That's like my bare minimum. If I do anything additional, it's just additional like weight lifting or whatever. But I wanna see how, I wanna showcase how much weight and how much difference in your body you can get just by jumping rope. All right, so we're cooking chicken marsala. Um, and I'm kind of making a, I'm making two different styles basically because my kids are not going to eat the chicken marsala per se, but they will eat the pasta. So I'm going to use, usually I use red wine and beef broth to make my chicken marsala and a little bit of cornstarch to give it like a gravy, but I'm going to do a mixture of the beef broth, this because I don't have a lot, water, and a little bit of wine, but I'm gonna use this mainly for the kids with some um, Parmesan cheese because they don't really like mushrooms. So we gotta make sure they eat. And I got some fresh linguine pasta that I'm gonna do. And um, yeah, so you guys can hang out with me while I do that. And that's it. That's it, I'm just trying to create a vibe. Let's cook. Alexa. Play some music.
chicken. I guess what I'm gonna end up doing is putting all my mushrooms and my onions in here, sauteing them, getting them nice and soft. And then I'm gonna make my sauce. And then I'm gonna put the chicken back and I'm gonna put it in the oven. No cheese. Um, sometimes I put cheese on it, but we're foregoing the cheese because it's trying to be healthy. I got fresh pasta. Um, let's see what else. I'm gonna get a little small pan so I can make the kids sauce. There's just gonna be different. And basically what I'm doing is just adding, I'm just using some of this with some like milk and water and some Parmesan cheese for their sauce. And it's gonna be delicious. So, that's it.
Hey guys. Hello. Talking to my camera. You told me to talk to them. Hey guys, it's been a while since I checked in. I don't remember the last time, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, go this way. Um, today's Friday. We're not doing much today. Easton just got home from school. I'm putting together some little candles. <laughs> they flicker like real lit candles. So cute. Um, do your Legos? Lego. A uh, letter, yeah. You want to do them now? Your words, you mean? They call on Lego. Yeah, but you do. You're putting words together. You call it Lego album. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Um, not much going on today. We're supposed to go to karate today, but I just don't feel like it. So. We're skipping karate. We, we, we skipped Monday because I wasn't feeling good. And I just don't have it in me. It's only a 40 minute class. And it starts in 20 minutes, so. Uh, we'll try again next week. <laughs> um, but I got a bunch of different packages to open and stuff. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon. I got some stuff from the TikTok shop. So we're just gonna open that. Look at the glow. Look at the vibe. Um, I also got these candlestick holders from Amazon as hi. well. Hello. Easton says hi. Hello. Oh, cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Look y'all, let me go get my tripod. What am I thinking? I have a tripod. Let me go get it. It looks so pretty. I'm just thinking like, should I add more? But I really like threes. Doing everything in threes. I just love the way that looks. They're pretty tall for this space. I tried to do a little bit of staggering the set here so it looks a little like cooler. But yeah, I love that little vibe. Now, I also got these to go on my Fourier table. Look, y'all, I got my tripod now. Ah! I'm so happy to have a tripod. I actually feel like I know what I'm doing now. It's just easier. I can talk with my hands as much as I want. Excuse the loud noise, but look at these little candle, these little candles. And then I got these from Amazon and the little stands. It came with a little remote and you can turn them on. Uh oh. You can turn them on. Y'all can see. You can go on, and then it has like a candle. Right now it's in light mode, but then if you put it on candle mode, it looks like they're moving and flickering. My child Daddy. is hitting. Look! Don't they look like a lit candle? Like it looks like it's actually like melting wax on there. It just looks so cool. I love stuff like this. Anyway, I just think it looks with my other pennant lights that I have. These back here, they're on the back wall. You can't really see them. I'll show you guys later tonight when we do. Ooh, Ethan, let's have a movie night. We still haven't watched a new Mario movie. Well, I don't know why. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. All right, let me put the other three together because they're going on my four table. Need. Available to you. Probably 
20 bucks, mind you, and it came with a, a set of six. That's the steel. You would have paid a good, hmm, maybe $6.99 for this. One piece at like Home Goods, maybe $4.99. Don't like these ones now. I'm out of batteries. These do take these take double A batteries. Yeah, no, don't touch. That looks good, no? I like the way it looks. It looks good. It's missing something right here. I got a painting to put there. I'm just thinking of changing the whole mirror, actually, and doing like an arched mirror instead, but. My old, no. I'm here, I can't have nothing nice. Yeah, no. I need to make it symmetrical because it's bothering me. I'm gonna do a TikTok or a little reel of me decorating this table. That's such a good idea. But I wanna wait until I get my painting, which I think is coming tomorrow. I got this cute little painting from um, Amazon. So we'll wait until we get that and then we'll try to do like a little like TikTok or something. I love those candles. I need to get more batteries. I ordered a bunch of batteries from Amazon. They're so cheap. So I'm gonna get some double A's because those take double A's to each candle. But it looks so good. I can't wait until tonight when you know the sun goes down. I'm gonna turn on my main lights in the back and Turn on the um hold on y'all he got some he's okay guys I have one other box and um and top well I just want to show you the vacuum because uh, 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 no 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 I got this little thing this is cute I was wondering oh Child. He's chilling. I was wondering if it was coming. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna just put this here for now just to see if I like the vibe of like a little painting there. I like how dark and moody. Which way is it? It goes this way. Dark and moody this is. Um I thought it would be bigger than this, but I guess not. I mean this is It's not, it's not big enough, it's too small. I'm gonna do both of the paintings together, stagger, um, so it'll look full and I'll probably put it this area over here. Um, if I had an arch mirror here, I think it would look better, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's open this vacuum because I'm so excited to use it. And what else did I get? Hold on, I got one more thing. Let's open this vacuum that I got from the TikTok shop. I'm so excited, I'm gonna show y'all. Because my child made a mess, so we're gonna try to clean it up. He just dropped all his cookies right here on the floor. So let's give that a try. Here is the vacuum. Let me take this ugly fleece jacket off. Ooh, <laughs> that ain't a better view. I'm gonna just keep the fleece on. This is my husband's fleece. I just wore this outside. I hate when I come on here looking a mess. I'll be looking homely. Y'all get the whole view of everything. Like this is exclusive 
status. I'm not cute at all, not one bit. I'll be cute later. Um, so I got this vacuum from the TikTok shop. They were comparing it to the Dyson of how good it was. And I love me a good vacuum. Like who don't, who don't love them a good vacuum? The, the, uh, the goodness and the satisfaction of emptying a vacuumed, uh, like a vacuum container where it sucks up all the dust. That is just such a good thing to me. And y'all know I have a dog and my dog sheds a lot of dog hair and I hate dog hair. I end up vacuuming like every day, sweeping every day because we have so much dog hair. <clears throat> now I have the shark and no matter how much I brush him, don't come in the comments telling me that I need to brush him. Don't come in the comments telling him I need to bathe him. We do all the things and he still sheds hair and he eats the right thing. He drinks plenty of water. He eats really good quality food. He sheds so much hair. There's dog hair. He could literally walk and there's dog hair. I just wiped dog hair off the table, Fourier table, and I just wiped it down yesterday. Dog hair everywhere. Anywho, I have this shark vacuum and it does okay, but I think I've had it for like three years now. Two years? Two years now. And everybody uses it. And everybody abuses it, is what I should say. They don't empty it. They don't clean the little bristles out. They don't, they don't do none of the things. I have to do all that. So, I bought this one to try. And we're going to try it together. I'm also going to try to film a TikTok with it. I'm going to try to use this tripod because I'm supposed to be able to put two things on here at the same time. So let's give that a whirl. Y'all, she's vacuuming up rice. Oh! Comparing the Dyson. Hold on, let me start it again. I just vacuumed yesterday so that's pretty good but that's probably all dog hair if I had to be honest side note I hate carpet and I really only like carpet in my bedroom just a disclaimer um, I can't wait until we get all of our hardwood everywhere um, but we got carpet when we first moved here we got brand we put brand new carpet in just because of financially that's just what we did but now i'm over it and i want hardwood throughout we did put hardwood in our living room ourselves um family room i had never showed you guys my family room when i was complaining about the carpet so let's go in there we're gonna go vacuum in there the little um rug i have there's probably toys everywhere so we're gonna pick those up too so let's go
tasted really good. I mean, I was able to vacuum the um, formal living room twice. I did the floor twice, so that was right out the box. I haven't charged anything. <laughs> I didn't even read the start guide. I was probably removed, probably supposed to remove some special piece of plastic, and I didn't. But for 100 bucks, it's okay. I mean, that's nice. My shark does a good job too, but not really, not lately. I think it's just like the coils are burned out or something, or it's just been used for two years and I probably needed a new one. But I'm definitely buying a Dyson soon. I'll probably just leave that one upstairs um, in our laundry room and use that for the upstairs because I might keep it down here, I don't know. I don't like the, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't fold up and it doesn't hang or it didn't give you like a piece that you can like hang it from a wall or anything so it looks like you have to take the battery out and charge the battery seemed to last pretty long i was able to vacuum the formal living room twice and then start vacuuming in here and the battery had just ran out and i didn't even what i go to grab my current one full full of gunk because someone didn't empty it that's what I'll be talking about. Now, if I get a Dyson, no one in this house will be allowed to use it. So I just finished like cleaning up the kitchen. Um, we had dinner. It wasn't anything worth showing, but <laughs> um, let me close this other blind. I'm getting ready to create my moody vibe for the night.